Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today I have a game I want to play with you. So I have here a picture of a church, but you know, it doesn't really look like a church building very much. And one of the reasons is that I think it needs to have a cross on the top. Well, I think I need a helper to get that cross. So Pastor Doug, will you help me? So Pastor Doug, I'm gonna give you one of these crosses. Now, do you think you could put that there on the top of the church building? Sure. Yeah, sounds pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is one catch. Okay. Um, I need for you to do it with your eyes closed. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, close your eyes. You know, I think he might be cheating. Okay, Bye. glasses off, that's good. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, good, good. Um, how many fingers am I holding up? I don't know. How many fingers? I don't know. Okay, I think he's good. Okay, now I need you to spin around in a circle. One more time. And once the other direction. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, you can stop spinning around now. Okay, follow my voice, follow my voice. And okay, now it's time to put the cross on. Um, I don't even know where the thing is. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can, you can open your eyes now. That's not bad. That's not terrible. That's not, that's not really bad, but I think that cross is going to fall off the building. Yeah. So, how about, can you try it again, but with your eyes open this okay, time? Okay, sure. Okay. How about that? That was great. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Pastor Doug. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Wow, that was a whole lot easier to do with Pastor Doug when he had his eyes open, right? There's a lot of things that are a lot easier to do if we can see. You know, in the Bible, there's lots of stories where Jesus heals someone who was born blind. And Jesus opens up their eyes so that they can see. And so then they can do all sorts of things like put crosses on the top of church buildings. Well, a lot of us are born able to see, but Jesus also teaches us that sometimes there's a different kind of being blind, of not being able to see. And that's when we can't really see the things that God wants us to be able to see. Maybe we can't notice when someone really needs a friend or when someone needs help. Something like that can show that we're having trouble seeing God. But Jesus came to fix that for us too. And Jesus gives us new eyes so that we can see all the wonderful things that God wants to do. I'm so grateful for that today. Let's say a prayer together. Jesus, thank you for giving us new eyes to see you with. We love you so much, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.